I I had a lot of lot of chat comments about what is Lotus Notes. Um, some of you might have it in your organization while you don't know it. Um, there is over there are over 10 million applications out there just waiting to be migrated because I believe there is not so many companies that want to keep it. They have tried years and years and years to get rid of it. Uh, so it's like it's like a it's like a virus, 35 years old uh, application virus. Uh, you 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 have to get rid of it. Um, and Power Platform, Power Apps, Dataverse might be the the answer. Um, the question is how to get there. So my name is Mats Jansson. I'm working as its chief technology officer at, at Adoptic. We are a company that provides software in this migration space. Um, so we are talking about um, software like uh, migrating to SharePoint, migrating to Dataverse, archiving those um, old legacy applications, or exporting the content. And what we are talking about here to just make uh, make it visible for you is this is Lotus Notes. So um, Shane, you you used 4.1, I think. Uh, it must be over 20 years away. Um, and I can tell you, it it haven't changed too much since then. It haven't changed too much. And this application I'm, uh, I have open here is actually written uh, those 20, 25 years ago. Um, and they are still running um, amazingly, uh, but scarily. Um, so uh, details like this, um, uh, and, and it's a document database. It's a document database. Uh, so you can see com uh, content like this with rich text, with um, table data, uh, all of that stuff, with um, choice fields, um, uh, checkboxes, all of that combined with uh, attachments inside those those records. Um, so so it can be quite quite scary for those that doesn't know uh, know about it. But I I'm pretty sure that uh, a lot of you four, 500 people that is on the call does know quite a bit about it. Um, so um, that's a little bit background. So, so what we are talking about is to migrate something that might have been created 20, 25 years ago. So there wasn't, it, it wasn't any web available. It wasn't any .NET available. It was, it was so, it is so old, um, but trying to combine that with highly modern technique, highly modern platform like Dataverse, can be a challenge. So, so we are we are uh, using for this reading the data from from the Notes and Domino servers um, using a, a quite old uh, API, but we are using uh, a Dataverse web API uh, to push it. To dataverse, um, so trying to find a common denominator for this landed on quite old technique as well. As you see, it's it's WinForms. WinForms, uh, we have all these possibilities. So uh, you can run uh, uh, Web API, Dataverse Web API, MSAL, all of that in in uh, in WinForms. That's totally possible. We do it. Um, and um, so, so the way it works is that we are reading from the source. Uh, we are we are connecting to the target, and uh, connecting to the target, we are using MSAL, uh, just making sure that we are logged in. Uh, we are we are uh, reading uh, whatever whatever um, tables you might have in in Dataverse, and the columns. And uh, the column types like like this, uh, like pick lists or or stuff like that. Uh, domino notes, notes and domino is uh, is kind of two names of the same um, problem. No, uh, same uh, software um, uh, have quite some differences to uh, to to dataverse. So we have to convert things between. 
So we have to convert the 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 uh, body field. We have to convert uh, drop downs, uh, check boxes uh, like that, because in Notes and Domino it can be text. In Dataverse, as you probably know, it must be an, uh, a number uh, presented a, a, as text. So we have double conversions. Um, then, of course, we we need to provide full fidelity. Um, and uh, customer need to tr be able to trust uh, that everything came over. Therefore, uh, you can follow up uh, and you should be able to follow up every document. So um, uh, the, what I need want to tell you is that uh, this community and, and the, the samples and the share uh, everything that people have shared uh, about the web API uh, and stuff like that have been tremendously helpful. Tremendously helpful. Me myself, I'm a Domino developer since 30 years back. I'm not doing that kind of work nowadays. I'm migrating off, but uh, I need to know the source. I need to know what uh, what comes in. Um, and I need also be uh, learning fast uh, what I can push to to uh, to Dataverse. So, having this document as an example, let's go over and look how it looks in in um, Dataverse. Uh, and I'm going to open this document. So here we have what have been migrated: the title. Uh, I, me, myself is the owner. I have the city created on um, what's yesterday. Uh, and you see the, the rich text. And uh, you see also the inline picture. And let's open up another document uh, that contains some, some, some uh, attachments. Uh, and the attachments looks pretty much the same, pretty much the same. Let's go back here and look at this in the Lotus Notes. Um, so here I have attachments in Lotus Notes, which is stored inside the document. Uh, scary enough. Uh, and do we do we do that in in uh, in Dataverse? No, we don't. But we are using uh, the document storage facility in in SharePoint for this. Uh, so. Um, what I, what I, what is going to happen if I click on this one is going to open SharePoint and read that um, uh, PDF uh, e-ticket uh, from the from the air company, right? So so um, pretty neat, pretty neat, um, and it's quite easy to just set set it up, uh, scan the database um, and uh, push the data. Highly controllable. Let's let's. By the way, I think I have time. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I know that there is always uh, uh, people that will uh, take more time in their presentations. But I will actually, right as we speak, do a live demo of migrating uh, a document. So now it's migrated. Let's see. Let's see. Which document did we migrate? I will open this in Lotus Notes, but while it's opening, I will go over to uh, Dataverse to Power Apps, and I know that this is the document with some text, with an attachment, everything will work. And I have the document here in Lotus Notes, and you see it's pretty much the same. Um, so is it used um, and a helpful web API from, from uh, uh, Microsoft and all your uh, good samples in this community have helped us doing this. So um, thank you for listening. And uh, back to my contact details. If you want to, you can just reach out. Thank you so much. And back to you, Shane.